Piers Morgan didn't hold back in his latest column following the Queen's death on Thursday as he hit out at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle over their comments about the royal family. The 57-year-old journalist alleged that in order for the royal family to bury their rumored hatchet, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex needed to stop speaking about them. The former Good Morning Britain host began by slamming Prince Harry's new statement about honoring his dad, the newly appointed King Charles III. Peers claim that the 37-year-old prince had done everything but honor his father in the last few years. The outspoken host pointed out previous comments from Harry, in which he said his dad made him suffer as a child and alleged the family had cut him off financially. Meghan has also opened up about her life in the royal household on several occasions. Jeremy Clarkson makes savage swipe at Meghan in tribute to the Queen most recently, she told The Cut magazine that by existing, we were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy. In his New York Post column, Piers ranted, Harry, if you really want to honor your dad, nix your salacious tell-all and drain in your royals trashing wife. He went on to say, Harry has been treating Charles in a similarly dismissive way, making a mockery of the couple's supposed commitment to compassion. Piers also expressed his anger at Harry being due to release a book soon based on his life as a royal. The presenter added, one of Charles's aides told me several months ago that the palace is absolutely dreading the book, fearing it will drip with poisonous new allegations and target his wife Camilla as some kind of revenge for her role in the breakup of Harry's parents' marriage. That conversation, of course, was before the Queen died and when Charles was just Prince of Wales. But now he's king, and Camilla is his queen consort, and any such attack, coming from the new monarch's own son, will thus be devastatingly damaging. He went on to urge the Duke of Sussex to tear up his lucrative contract with Penguin Random House and cancel the book. Alan Sugar reacts to rubbish King Charles III claim about Meghan, reaction Jane McDonald bids farewell as singer takes step back for some time, revealed Rita Ora leaves little to the imagination in sparkly silver bodysuit, pictured, following the Queen's death last week, the Prince and Princess of Wales and the Sussexes reunited to address the crowds. The quartet put their difficulties aside for the day as they thanked people for their condolences and gifts. While many were pleased to see the reunion, Piers believes it was a forced unity to wrestle media attention back from their rift to their grandmother in the run-up to her state funeral next Monday. He went on to say while it was respectful of them to reunite for their late grandmother, he was not fooled by it. Piers added, what part of Harry's treatment of his father in the past few years has shown any of these things? Instead, he's shown Charles withering accusatory contempt, and allowed his wife to constantly trash his family and everything they represent, in a way that has attracted endless global negative headlines. The father of four also ranted that the horribly ill-advised book could show that his commitment to honor his father is just a load more disingenuous hot air from someone who, like his wife, loves to preach one thing but practice another. Harry and Meghan quit their senior royal duties in 2020 and later moved to Los Angeles. The couple, who married in 2018, will attend the Queen's funeral in London next Monday.